Hey everybody, welcome to Team Powerhouse, the Powercast live with you every week. We have a very special guest, one of our own agents, Jamie Franco. Hold on. Very excited to have her on the show today. I have to dispute what you just said. Live with you every week. Well, actually, this is this, pre-recorded. This is going to be a pre-recorded show, especially for you, upcoming and live when you're watching it. How about that? <laughs> and the reason for that is because I'll be away on work business, taking care of some things for our team. That being said, thank you so much for joining us. Very excited to have you here today with the show with us. We're expecting as much feedback from you as possible while you're watching the show regarding Jamie and everything you want to know about her. Please make sure, most importantly to begin with, go to Team Powerhouse Real Estate on YouTube. Hit subscribe. We love watching with you every week, being there for you. You can listen to us on the replay that Jonathan puts out every Saturday. In addition to Instagram, as you know, Facebook, Twitch, Anchor, uh, TikTok, TikTok, Spotify. Spotify. Listen to us on the replay. You're on the road. You're traveling from here to there. Listen to one of our shows. I promise you, you'll have some fun. You'll laugh. You'll learn something. Definitely and most learn importantly, something. not only learning something, you get to know about an amazing girl, woman, oh, who's sitting you. right next to us over here today. And we're so happy to have her join our team. Thank you. So, Miss Jamie Franco, Team Powerhouse. Yes. Um, Let's talk about your family. So you are a mother. Yes. You have any children? Obviously, being a mom. Yes. Lots how many kids? How many kids do you have? <laughs> so there's five total. Wow. Yes. She needs your help <laughs> in making money, so you need to support her. <laughs> <laughs> um, five children. That's amazing. What are mm -hmm. the ages? So the oldest is Thane. He just turned 16. Hello, Thane. <laughs> and then we have Connor, who's 13. Awesome. And then Scotty, who's seven. Beautiful. Leah, who is forever in heaven at six. Amen. And then we have Ava, who's three and a half. Now, Ava is somebody you'll see a lot on social mm -hmm. media because she is a <laughs> princess of princesses in yes. doing beauty pageants and all types of athletic events. Yes. Jamie is very social on social media. And what's great about her is you're going to learn a lot about her as a mom, as a wife, and She's very much involved with family as well as real estate. How she does it all, I have no idea, but she's somebody who always picks the phone up every time you call. You call her or text her, you're gonna get her number, you're gonna have her information. And by the way, Jonathan's gonna put on the screen her information to get a hold of her uh, for you. And her cell number is? 203-804-0098. Say that one more time slowly. 203-804-0098. And your email address to get in touch with you. Jamie, J-A-M-I-E dot Franco, F-R-A-N-C-O at C-B Realty dot com. Beautiful. Make sure to hold the Jamie. She's going to take amazing care of you. <laughs> and you're going to have an experience that is going to be fun, funny, and lots of action going on. That is for sure. Yes. All right. So your husband's name is Scotty. Yeah, you've Scott. Got to, you've got to mention Scott. Scott. Well, I <laughs> Don't tell Scott, him that. Scotty the body. <laughs> you know, he's a great guy. He's mm -hmm. a great support He's to amazing. your amazing team mm -hmm. of family. Yes. That's an amazing team right there all together. You know, the family unit that stays together, strong together. Yes. And it, it comes through in your personality. You're so full of life and bubbly and fun all oh, the time. You. <laughs> You've always got a smile on your face. No matter what's going on, even when things are crazy stressful, you're always a positive person. It's true. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we do have our little moments when we get a little jammed up and Absolutely. we have those down times. Yes. But you know, people get to know who you are and learn more about you through this podcast and getting to see you on social media, which is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so where are you from? I am from West Haven. I'm a Westie. No kidding. Love yeah. West Haven. Yeah, I love West Haven. I really do. My <laughs> wife, actually, Valerie, she, uh, half of her life grew up in West Haven. Yeah. Oh, I didn't she, know her that. Her parents had to do a splitsy thing, oh. and she went to West Haven High School at the age of, I want to say, maybe... 14, 15, some of that ballpark. Oh, wow. Uh, talk about a change of life uh, places, too, because depending oh, yeah. where you're coming from. West Haven is pretty diverse. It's got a lot of things going on between restaurants and food Absolutely. and the ocean. There's so much involved in there as Eric looks at <laughs> it me really funny. Is. It's a really, uh, it's got a lot to offer in West Haven. So you're from West Haven. Yep. You were born and raised. Did you go to school in West Haven? I went to, yep. West All Haven the way High. Elementary to West Haven High. Should I not ask you what you graduated? Or do you want to keep that off the record? I mean, it's fine. she looks like she's 29. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, but the question is, 
You know, are you, you're, what year are you? 2006. 2006, that's yep. awesome. Yep, same year my uh, oldest was born, so it's easy to remember. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that's just phenomenal. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You started life really quickly at, Very out of quickly. high school. Very quickly, yes. So you went to West Haven High School, just one of the things I was going to ask you about high yes. school. Did you do anything in school? Were you involved in cheerleading, sports? Believe it or not, no. I really didn't do anything. I, I ice skated when I was little, and that's about the extent of it. West Haven Rink was a great, it's a great rink over there. Exactly, yeah. I didn't yeah. know they had a rink. Yeah. Oh, yeah, West hockey Haven High School, rink, the yeah. hockey team is really? a great time. Yeah. Okay. And they've got a public rink there. You can go and skate. Uh, you're, do you skate? Uh, yeah, I used to play hockey. I used to play ice hockey. So. You're right. Yeah. So it's a, there's actually guys your age, Eric, our age. <laughs> <laughs> My age. <laughs> they, have skate, they have skating leagues. Um, which I definitely never have been involved in ice skating, didn't learn much of I mean, I learned how to skate in a pond, you know, in like the town, yeah. there was a, the pond there, you kind of took your right. chances. Um, <laughs> but that's about as far as skating went for me. So did you skate up. competitively or no, was it just, just... it was just recreational. Okay. Just something to do. I, I want to say that I always thought that people could ice skate was like, I thought they were superheroes. Because yeah. it's one thing to be able to move on something and then ice is a whole different level. Right, balancing, yeah. Balance, I mean, Eric, you played hockey. Yeah. Um, that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. I mean, Eric's an all-around athlete to begin with, as you probably know about Eric. <laughs> but that well, it was. I mean, I mean, this is about Jamie. Right. This but is about but Jamie. I mean, you know, when I did the um, the first time Dylan saw me do the spray, you know, where you break and you you shoot up that sp uh, spray of snow from your oh, stop, right. he was just like, "Wow, that's awesome!" <laughs> <laughs> My dad's a superhero. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Absolutely. Well, that's awesome. I, listen, I always say to people who, who ice skate, if you can ice skate and do it well. To me, it's like a superhero. You fly, and then you stop. Yeah. And that's not so easy to do. Yeah, you just push, 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 it's push, glide. The only yeah. sport you literally <laughs> yeah. have no control of the bottom of your feet. Mm -hmm. You can run, you can stop, you can, all the kind of sports you have, you know, if you're a skateboarder. No, you can you, stop on a dime in skates. If, if you know how. You know how, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're, you're regular, yeah. Every, every sentient right. walking human being can stop, <laughs> Right. you know. Just stop. Or you just you stop know, your momentum. Go as, a, the yeah. wall. as a kid growing up, the closest thing I came to ice skating was roller skating. That was a big thing back in the that, day. Was it, the roller skating rings, and, right? And that was like you roller skate, and then you couldn't stop, and you hit the wall. Yeah, exactly. There would like, be that, that the carport, wall. the carpeted bar, uh, wall that you'd hit <laughs> yes. and almost all fall over. Exactly. Um, all right. So Same. you went to West Haven High School. What kind of jobs did you have prior to real estate? Like, what did you when you, you were out of high school? So you mentioned about your son. You graduated high school and had a baby boy. True. That's pretty amazing. True story, yeah. So, like, what kind of, did you end up having any jobs at all coming out of high school? Or? I did. I worked basically right out of high school all the way till now. Any kind of jobs you want to talk about? Um, so, I had a lot of, you know, jobs from when I first graduated high school that were not something I would really talk about, but the one I'm the most proud of, which is actually still bittersweet for me because... Um, I still love it, was the Edge Fitness. I was at the Edge Fitness for almost a decade, and so I have a huge background in fitness. Yes, you do. And, um, that's, if you've ever met Jamie, yeah. you'll know, okay, this girl works out, uh, <laughs> and she takes care of herself. But go ahead, I try. Edge Fitness. You've I try. Been, you've been doing this for, you did it for like how long now? I was there for almost a decade on and off. They that's, were great. They let me have my babies, so that's on a, and off. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you killed it when you were there. I you were the top it, salesperson yeah. when you were there at the Edge was, Fitness. Yeah, I was and, up there. <laughs> and a lot of people who watch over here will go, oh my God, I know Jamie from Edge Fitness. Yeah, And now definitely. she's doing real estate. Exactly. And this is definitely a person you want to relate to and call. So the position at Edge, Edge Fitness, was it uh, administrative or were you like a so trainer also? I, so it's funny. I went to school for personal training because I always had a knack for fitness. Mm -hmm. My first fitness job was The Edge. I taught Zumba, I, wow. so I did some cardio, cardio classes, but my first real job in fitness was The Edge. Come to find out, I had a knack for sales. So I never actually made it onto the floor because I got so comfortable on the phone, customer service and yeah. sales, so I just, I just ended up there. Well, good thing you're in real yeah. estate then. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> phone. It's a nice exactly. transition. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. To absolutely. Exactly. Going from the Smith machine to, <laughs> to, to real estate, a completely different thing. So It's yeah. true. It's true. What made you decide to go to real estate school? Get, so, oh, sorry, what made you decide to get into real estate, first of all, and then go to real estate school? So I took a little break from the edge to have Ava. Yes. And I spent, Ava is three and a half? Yes. Okay. And I spent a lot of time decorating my house. And I Scott loves that you decorate your house so often. He loves how his house <laughs> always looks. 
in, on point. Exactly. But he's always trying to get me to do something different. And I'm yes, like, because that's spending money. That's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Sorry, was that so, allowed? No, it's all right. Exactly. I know. He's going to. He'll totally. Decorate do somebody else's house for once. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. So originally the idea was like, all right, I really like decorating. And then I just realized that I really liked houses. And I started to follow some people that were real estate agents. And yeah. I was like, you know what? I love sales. I love people. I love the phone, which is most people don't. So obviously, in it's our one way business, to go. you definitely have to love the phone. The phone, right? The phone is your spouse. The phone is your significant yeah. other. Your yes. phone is always yes. on your exactly on your uh, in your hands, if always, you will. Always, um, always. So, what made you get into real estate? Basically, was the all the pieces of the puzzle kind of led you right. towards real estate. Right. Where did you go to real estate school? I went to Alliance Real Estate School in West Haven. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Again, West Haven. Mm -hmm. West Haven. Yeah. And you currently mm -hmm. live where? North Haven. And in North, how long have you been in North Haven for? Uh, three years. Today, actually. No kidding. Yeah, today's our three-year anniversary, anniversary of buying our house. That's yeah. pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty cool. House yeah. anniversary. Yeah, house how, anniversary. <laughs> um, what? So Did what? your realtor reach out to you to wish you a happy uh, house anniversary? Uh, not yet. Okay. I'm sure she will. <laughs> okay. I'm sure she will. <laughs> um, so uh, when did you officially get your real estate license? November last year. So, so I'm coming up on a year. So, you know, in the beginning process of being a realtor, you learn a lot. Yes. And we're going to kind of dive into that process. Okay. Um, and I want you to be very candid about things because people are listening out there who may be interested in a real estate license. Absolutely. Maybe they want to do it. Maybe they shouldn't do it. Right. Maybe it's the right job for them. Maybe it's not. Right. Because this business is very demanding. It is. Um, and it's a demanding job of you. It's a demanding job of your family. And it's a demanding job of not just your time, but your mind and body. Absolutely. Because it is something where people are investing, no matter what price mm -hmm. range it is, the most important financial decision in their lives. Yes. Right? Besides getting married and having kids, financially, it's important for them to right. feel very comfortable with you here first. I always tell people, the first place is to develop their relationship in their heart. If the heart's good, the mind's going to be good because it works together. Right. And if they feel good in their mind and their heart, then they're comfortable to spend the money in their pocket with you. Exactly. And it's not just spending money with you, it's investing in their future. Exactly. The best purchase. investment you can make in your life is in real estate. Exactly. It's something over time that has only gone up in value year over year over year. Absolutely. In a 10 year span. Uh, while the market has ups and downs, we all know we've been through mm -hmm. it, the market as a whole is up more than it was 20 and 30 years ago. So that's why people like to invest. It's up from three years ago. It's way up from three years ago. That's a good point, <laughs> Eric. And, and if anybody who bought in the last three years has probably sold and bought again, as a matter of fact, because yeah. they've got so much equity in their home. Exactly. Good point, Eric, you make. Um, so your first transaction, mm -hmm. you had your first sale. Yes. Um, where, now, now, this buyer you picked up, it was a lead that came into you. Mm -hmm. um, and what town is this purchase in? It's in Willimantic. Now, you're from West Haven, you mm -hmm. live in North Haven, and whoa, mm -hmm. romantic. Yes. Which is a great area. Yeah. Right? You're talking about the shoreline and going deep exactly. down and into mm -hmm. it. Uh, it was the buyer originally looking at Willimantic? Uh, Willimantic, and then oddly enough, Bristol. Completely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the, it, it was basically a, I work here, husband works here, so they were kind of whichever one. I wasn't, I wasn't around for the show prep, <laughs> and I don't know if that was discussed, but that's like... <laughs> Totally mind-blowing, like way over here. <laughs> but, but you know, she, she made a good point. You get two spouses right. that One their work here. situations mm -hmm. are, and typically buyers are looking for property are within 30 minutes, right. 45 minutes of their work situation. So depending on spouses, exactly. maybe somebody makes more money than the other one. That's the reason why they lean towards one right. or the other. Exactly. Um, so Willimantic, a great little town over there. Mm -hmm. Uh, did you get to learn? What's that? I said good breakfast. Good breakfast and yeah. romantic. Yeah. Did you remember the restaurant you went to? Uh, I mean, put the on your spot. Darn, That's... I don't. But it was so good. It was so cute. Very family, very small yeah, town. Yeah, super cute. Yeah. Uh, so anybody out there who has that been to Willimantic, it's a great little town. Yes. Um, and Jamie's gotten very knowledgeable in the yes. town of Willimantic and in Bristol, <laughs> yeah. of course. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, and as a realtor, one of the things we know, and Eric and I can tell you all the time, is that people will say, I want to buy a house here. Mm -hmm. And then your first question is, well, where do you work? And it's here. And then you kind of do like this circle and you go, okay, so you want to be within how long right. or how far of that property or that town and that kind of stuff. Um, so your first home was in, in, in your first purchase was in Willimantic. Yes. Now the buyer being, was it a first time home buyer? Yes. And in a market that is crazy as it is, mm -hmm. 
Tell me a little about the process they went through. I mean, did they do a home inspection? They did not do a home inspection, which I highly recommended. Which, um, as, a, as an agent, makes you a little nervous sometimes. Absolutely, and Especially being yes. newer, right? Absolutely. You walk into a house, you may not know as much about a house. Right. And how much did they know about a house before buying a right. house? Right, and the inspector, you know, that's what they're there for. They are definitely there. They have that knowledge to point out the things mm -hmm. that we can't see because that's not our job. So. One of the conversations we had with Marco Miranda last week on the show, which was amazing for people to watch if they haven't watched, is why a home inspection is so important. Exactly. So your exactly. buyer didn't do a home inspection, mm -mm. Um, and they waived the inspection because they were in a multiple offer situation, I'm guessing? Um, no. Mm -hmm. They just, <laughs> they just didn't, honestly, it came, it came down to, um, money and, uh, you know, I tried to really, yeah, I tried to give them the knowledge that, you know, a, a five, six hundred dollar inspection could save you thousands of dollars in the future. God Absolutely. forbid a big ticket item comes or up. tens of thousands. Or exactly. Tens of thousands. Exactly. exactly. Right. Now, so Willamantic, I would imagine the house probably has a septic, no? It didn't have septic, no. No. It had okay. Other, well, that's it a saving other grace. Things, right. Though. Seriously. <laughs> it did have other things. Was though. it an older home? It was very old. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. So Eric has become very knowledgeable older homes. I become very knowledgeable older homes. There's a lot of things about older homes that people need to know. Absolutely. Is that a dig at my age? Not in one <laughs> shape. Or, yo, you and I are very close. Because it's age. like he's like, well, you know, he's been around a while. So not like, uh, he's been in some uh, some older houses. Not, you know? No, you I mean, honestly, we we see older homes, and there's a whole different level of shopping criteria. Oh, that absolutely. Right, right. Right. You're looking at roofs differently. You very have very high up in the air. You can't see them as much, mm -hmm. which is why another inspector. Exactly. Thing. Their basements are completely. Well, the older different. houses, yes, the are. basements are the, the foundations, the, yes. the primary area of concern. Yeah. One mm -hmm. of the houses I'm actually selling in New Brighton, which is a phenomenal home, gorgeous inside completely redone in the basement it's a dirt found yeah. uh, dirt on the ground in the basement dirt floor. dirt floor you know and people what they don't realize what sometimes with a basement they walk down there is you know they're not expecting it right. and it doesn't mean there's something wrong with it can they fit can they pour foundation into it or cement or put a concrete down there absolutely right but it's been like that for the last 200 years yeah, exactly. you know and it doesn't mean that it's a bad or good thing it's just a matter of what they're gonna need from their basement do right. they need do they have a walk-up attic did this house have a walk-up attic? It did. So that becomes their basement. That becomes right. their storage space. Right. Right. And that's where like those pieces of the puzzle that people need to realize mm -hmm. when you're out there looking, okay, if I'm looking at a house in the 1800s, 1700s, it's an older home, most likely the basement's not going to be usable space. Right. Very rarely it is a usable space, right? Right. Your mechanicals are down there. You need to mm -hmm. access them. But that's the only time you're down there. It might even have a, a slight smell to it, kind of moist air. You may want to run a dewey to fire or put some of those uh, buckets of things that kind of help pull the moisture out. Right. But as a whole, older homes don't have really a basement you can use. Sometimes they're very short on the, on the, on the height as right. well. Um, all right, so your first home, it's an older home. They didn't do an inspection. Right. You know, they should have. Uh, later on, how long did it take for the first transaction to actually close? Ah, I believe it was around 65 days. Okay. Yeah. It's about normal. it was a little, little yeah, little a little bit longer than normal typical closing today. Now, actually, people the lenders are pretty quick about it. That's what I was gonna say. Well, so the, the yeah. loan type had a factor. It had a factor. Mm -hmm. What kind of loan was it? It was a chaff adapt. Okay, so that's a great program that Michael Christopher was very knowledgeable Absolutely, on. Absolutely, yes. Um, Chaff Adap is a down payment assistance program, mm -hmm. and as a matter of fact, now the government that's what DAP stands for. Down, yes. payment, down assistance. payment assistance. Yes, program. thank you very much. <laughs> and now the government actually has a new programs out. Depending if you qualify or not, they have yes. twenty five thousand and fifty thousand dollars are actually time offering. to own. Mm -hmm. Time to thank time you very own, much. Yes. Time to own program. Which again, yep. Michael mm -hmm. Christopher from Guaranteed Rate, a fantastic mortgage broker yes. that we recommend Absolutely. all the time. Um, has this program available to you. If you're interested in finding more about that, we'll get you with Michael, of course. So going back to your client in this house, about 65 days, mm -hmm. takes a little longer with a CHAFA down payment yes. assistant program. The criteria to qualify for that mortgage is also interesting also based yes. on income levels. Income, yep. um, but going back to your property, so it's 65 days, close your mm -hmm. first closing. Yes, my first and closing. And you get your first paycheck and you're like, how awesome is this? It was amazing. <laughs> right? So exciting. It was the best feeling. <laughs> oh my gosh. How, you know, in this business, uh, we definitely work for our money, but like any other business, mm -hmm. it's the only business where you actually have to wait maybe yeah. two to three months for a paycheck. Yeah. Um, most people in their lives don't have that kind of experience. Right. And you have to, as a realtor, really plan out your, you're budgeting yourself exactly and that's why you're always on the go always out always. there chasing yes. the next deal exactly. right mm -hmm. and what's good about your clientele is they're referring you business now yes and you're getting yourself out there on social media yes. we'll talk more <laughs> about that as well um, let's go back to one other question for you um, jumping all over the place over here 
Lots of questions for Jamie Franco. <laughs> so how many how many houses did you uh, did you show these folks? Great question. Uh, that's a good question. Probably like not that many. Maybe like seven or eight. Probably because there weren't that many available. How long yeah. ago was this, by the way? Yeah. I mean, we started in, I believe, around March. And we didn't close until July. Right. So back in March, an average town had maybe one or two homes. Right. Right. right? And it was bidding war every time. And bidding war every mm -hmm. time. Um, so uh, let me just jump into now. You decided to join Team Powerhouse. Yes. Which for us, we're so blessed and oh, thankful. thank you. Thank you. But what made you? How did you get to join our team? Which is... I. I want you to know about how this whole process happened, which is kind of wild and crazy. How did you join Team Paris? How did you find out about us? So basically, I, Mike Cristoforo, who you just mentioned. Which is ironic. We go to the same church. and we became, Love it. We became friends. And then one day, he wore a guaranteed rate shirt. And I was like, no way. How would you know that he was a mortgage broker? Exactly. Because he didn't have his logo and right. the and then tattooed I, on his forehead. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> exactly. Mike, you need a new tattoo. Or yeah, as right. a matter of fact, we're maybe, maybe we'll pay for a tattoo. Oh, I have a great idea for a show. Mike Cristoforo getting tattooed. I kind of thought you were going to say tattoo where? party, and I was all for it. Not gonna Ooh, lie. We could do a tattoo get party. Get tattooed where? I don't know. Generally, maybe we get him a tattoo, a guaranteed rate tattoo on his body. Yeah. Oh my that gosh, be interesting. that'd be so funny. <laughs> Michael, if you're up for it, we're willing to pay for it. A guaranteed yeah, rate tattoo it. on your body. I'll even get one with you, why not? We'll wow. record it. <laughs> we'll record it. A recorded show, show yeah. with a tattoo. Yeah. So you have tattoos, obviously. Lots of tattoos. Lots of tattoos. I have some tattoos. I love tattoos. Eric has tattoos. I have a few. He's got a few. Ink is fun. It's so fun. But it's important to get tattoos that you want people Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Getting tattoos is something that, uh, depending on what age you are. I was just going to say. Depending on what age you are, make sure not to just get yes. a tattoo. Wait till you're like 23. That's uh -oh. like a good place to start. <laughs> I just tattooed my kids. They're both 18. What'd they get? Um, tattoos. Okay. But, what, but actually, your, <laughs> your kids' tattoos are a little different, though. It's a little bit more symbolic, which is why it's pretty cool. Yeah, Dylan got the, uh, the monkey shoulder logo. From the with an additional, yeah, yes, with an additional monkey on it, a baby monkey. I don't know what that is. Um, we'll talk about it. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. And uh, Victoria got a, it's a kind of, kind of like a moonish thing. It's really cool. Oh, that's They're cute. Cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. Very, very cool stuff. They're cool. All right, so we got tattoos. I got, my, I got mine at eighteen. So. <laughs> but you eighteen in the military, probably. Yes. Oh, that that's yeah. different. It was actually before I went in. So no I got kidding. It before I went in, yeah. So if I had failed, I would have looked stupid. <laughs> <laughs> If I didn't finish boot camp, I was going to have to USMC. I was going to have to say it stood for something else. That's actually pretty awesome. That's so and, funny. And, well, hold on, to have the US... and they weren't happy about it either. When you went to the boot camp, you Well, were... because they saw the tattoo and like, you haven't finished yet. You're not a Marine. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> wow, that's a great so story, true. by the way. I never heard yeah. that story before. I think I'm going to go get a key now. We'll have to talk Good about idea, that. Right? We'll have to talk about the next tattoo before yeah. you get done. Yeah, yeah. Some ideas. I have some that are definitely... Maybe we have to go into we talk about Scotty with this stuff here. All right, we're, we're jumping all over the place. Jazz hands. Yeah. But yeah, so Mike Cristoforo. Mike Cristoforo introduced you to our team. He actually told me about you. Yeah? Yeah. What did he say? He, Nothing good. Basically. <laughs> so I had to do my own research to find out that he was lying. <laughs> tell, tell me, so, so what exactly, so you... you he, me. I mean, when I, when we started to talk about you, it was just like, I don't even know how to explain it. The, well, first the conversation all, was I'm, so... I'm, I'm kind of, this is a little new for me. So what exactly did Michael say? He just like, said, oh my gosh, Dave's the best. And then really? I started, and I'll be honest, I had to do Second a little best. Facebook, Go social ahead. media, you know, look you up and, and see for myself. And I was like, holy moly. I don't know. This guy just seems like he's got it together and I want to be a part of that. That was pretty cool. Did you look up Eric at all? No. Eric, I'm <laughs> so sorry. That's okay. I didn't know, no, because Mike didn't, didn't talk he, about me. So. <laughs> I didn't know anybody else. Well, if, if you would have looked up, my, if you would have looked up Eric, and by the way, the reviews, did you? you know, I have looked up Eric since. Yes. And he's amazing. He is really I mean, amazing. if I can learn from him, if I can learn from you, I'm happy. I will you tell you. Well, market. that's. I mean, that's the benefit of being on this team. Exactly. Yeah. This right. team specifically, mm -hmm. I can't say that for all teams. Right. True. Right. This team specifically, you can call or text anybody on that team. Absolutely. Because every everybody on this team may have a a. A strength or a forte. Exactly. And exactly. it's like, okay, you know what, Charles, he knows Waterbury or Watertown right. really good, or Gary knows Watertown yeah. really good. Right. Caitlin. I mean, it's, it's funny, you mentioned, Eric, you mentioned a good point. The team dynamics that you join a team to, mm -hmm. where are they from, what are they knowledgeable in, what areas are they from, exactly. really gives you a lot of more depth as far as the team goes. Right. So, you know, in joining the team, you did a little research, you heard from Michael, mm -hmm. you know, and that's an amazing uh, testament from Michael to me and also the team because 
So, I'm, so did yes. he? Did you reach out to to Dave? Or I did. did yes. So you reached out directly to Dave. I did. Okay. I was when when Jamie called me and she mentioned that she wanted to join our team. I was like, well, hold on a second. Let me just check out who Jamie is first of all, because we've had that before. People call up about wanting to join a team. Before you want to join a team, we as agents also want to research you. Absolutely. Right? We all for the record, each other, I definitely. did not reach out to you. This is true. Okay. I definitely reached out to you. You know what? Yes. I quit. Now you have to reach out to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, it depends on like the situation, the circumstances. Right. Um, but, you know, That's when true. you reached out to me, I was so, I was excited, but I was also nervous, of right? Because I need to do a little research. And I was newer. And so, you, but yeah. you came with like this dynamic and this personality. And I knew that you had a different edge to yourself. Oh, thank you. Um, you know, your why in life is big. Mm -hmm. You've got family, you've got kids. Right. You've got a why in life that is so powerful that motivates you to be the successful realtor that you are and going to be. Oh, thank you. Um, and that's a big plus for you. Um, I'm going to go back to my questions because we're all over the place over here. Uh, so what are the, some of the goals you have as a realtor? Success. Success, just to be a respectable real estate agent. You know, I want people to, if, if somebody's talking and they're like, oh, I think I'm going to list my house, I want them to be like, oh my gosh, I know this girl, her name is Jamie, here's her number, call her. Absolutely. That's all I can ask for, you know? That's, I just want to be... That's the goal. Yeah. That is the goal. That's yeah. the goal. A hundred percent. Or even... Or even as some of uh, my previous clients have said, where they talked about the process with right. folks, you know, right. absolutely. And the experience that I will tell you that Eric's clients, the feedback and the reviews that they write about him, what they've learned in the process of buying a home, and that's what makes this experience so important for your clients. Absolutely. As you know, right. mm -hmm. the review that an agent gets from their client is everything. Um, because it really kind of has a chance for them to kind of reflect back on their experience. Absolutely. And I was just with Eric's client recently uh, going to show a house for him, and all they did was talk about how much they love Eric and how much you've learned from Eric that's through the amazing. process. Congrats. And that's the same thing, but by the way, the same thing your clients are already doing about you. Thank uh, you. And I'm proud of you for that. Um, you've hit some curveballs in this process, Absolutely. you know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. And in the process that you've... You, you pick the phone up, you call me up and say, hey, listen, I got that, that, that going on. Yes. And we talk about it. Mm -hmm. And when talking about it, it helps you learn. I tell people all the time, no matter how many years you've been in this business, we as realtors learn every day new things that are going on. Yes, every um, day. <laughs> and that, my experiences that I've had and Eric's experiences had are going to help you yes. to be a better realtor because we've been in the business for some time now and we sell a lot of properties. So the more we sell, the more we learn. And the more right. you sell, the more you'll learn. Exactly. And your clients are going to be 17 steps ahead of everybody else because of our experiences that you're going to have right those people now have ex experienced how should i say this because of you, our experiences that we've gone through right. your clients won't go through those problems exactly well it's like they it's it's like you've gone through it right because if something does come up mm -hmm. and you're not sure how to handle it i mean some of it's going to be common sense you're like well the logical right. choice would exactly. be this but yes. let me just call dave or let me call oh, eric or yes. whatever you absolutely. know whoever it is in our in our team being so deep we have 10 agents in our team yes. right now and our team is still growing but we're very selective in who we pick right eric we want to make sure we pick pick people who are like-minded mm -hmm. people who are hard-working we like to work hard play hard yes right we like to have yes, fun we are definitely a team likes to have fun mm -hmm. we like to work and we like to get things done um uh so let's talk about more about you again i'm so sorry are there any areas in connecticut you prefer not to work in absolutely not good answer <laughs> how about um, willimantic no. I'll go back. Listen, the egg and cheese was amazing. I'll go back. <laughs> you know, Willimantic has a lot more depth. You have Willimantic. You have New they London. Do. It was gorgeous. You have all the... Waterford. Waterford. Very mm -hmm. good. Deep sea fishing, restaurants, seafood. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I have a client that I'm, uh, I'm going back to uh, Willimantic in the next few days. So. Nice. Yeah. How many clients are you currently working with at this time? I think, I'm, I, think I have like buyers, like seven or eight. Awesome. Let's talk about that. Now, have you listed any homes yet? I have. You had your I first had listing. I had my first listing, yes. And, and how long, now with, of course, the professional photography you did, mm -hmm. and they were amazing, by the amazing. way. Amazing. Did fantastic photos. Absolutely. Uh, how long was your house in the market before you went into contract, or how many offers did you have? Uh, I just asked you three questions in a row. It was like two and a half days. Mm, it was like nine or 10 offers. Yes. And what was the last question? 
and how fast it went to contract. So like two and a half days. Yeah. Right. Well, actually, you had offers coming in from the beginning. Oh, right, right off the first day. Yeah. So you got a chance for people to have offers coming in. Mm -hmm. And one of the things as realtors we do differently the most is we will not let your home sit there if you have offers coming in because the most respectful thing as a realtor to do is be respectful to other realtors in this business right. and respond quickly. Yes. So if you're start getting offers in day one, within two days we're going to contract. Right. Absolutely. We're not holding out for a week because it's not respectful to you as buyers out there who are shopping. You make an offer in a house, you're expecting, hey, listen, my offer means something, right, Aaron? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, we want a response. 24 hours, you expect to hear something, at least within 40 hours you're in the contract. Mm -hmm. You're making a decision. And Eric knows this firsthand because he's with outward buyers all the time. And also listing properties. You know, it's so important that you as a realtor, you know, respect the process on the buyer side and also on the seller side. Absolutely. Um, and hopefully out there, if you're a buyer and you're watching a listing, a realtor who's working for you is gonna help you make that decision to happen quicker. You're also gonna know if you're working with another agent on the other side that is not worth working with because they're playing games. Right. You know, your offer is worth, no matter what it is, just as much respect to get Absolutely. a response. Absolutely, I agree 100%. And Eric, would you hate, don't you hate when people don't respond back to us? I mean, it's like you know right away. No comment. No comment, <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. I'm trying to keep it civil. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. You listed a home. Um, yet, how did you choose which offer to accept on your listing? So there's a lot of factors in choosing an offer. Um, the loan type, the terms, the price. Uh, the price, obviously. <laughs> that's most, well, it's not most important, actually. Um, it really Eric, comes down to a lot of different factors. So. Well, Eric, price is an issue, of course. Yes. Yeah. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Eric always talks no, about No, no, it's not a debate. <laughs> oh, okay. a, no, Eric makes a good point all the time. No, well, I mean, um, I think we've talked about it before. Yes. Where we've, um, Jonathan's trying to give you a signal. Okay. Uh, where we've talked about the best offer isn't always the highest offer. Right, absolutely. You know, it's the buyer mm -hmm. that's the strongest on paper, that, um, you know, if your seller is guaranteed more money or, you know, if there's an appraisal right. gap. I mean, there's a right. bunch of things in there, you know? Exactly. The gaps could be half a waving appraisal as, as a whole. Uh, it could be something of inspection issues. It could exactly. be waving. You just said waving and appraisal is important. Waving, <laughs> well, it, de it depends. It depends, <laughs> on that. it depends on the house. And I know we're at time crunch over here. I apologize, everybody. Um, so before we end, mm -hmm. what would you say to somebody who's getting their real estate license would you recommend working with a team or on your own and why? Absolutely would recommend working with a team. Um, and not just any team. Exactly. We like to think yeah. so. Team powerhouse, of course. Um, <laughs> actually, I, I do. I, I appreciate everything you guys do. You guys teach me so much. I wouldn't be where I am right now without the team. So uh, for somebody that's coming in as a brand new real estate agent, I would definitely say, well, Actually, don't take Dave away from me. I want him all to myself. No, uh, definitely reach out to Dave, reach out to Eric. They're amazing. Um, when you're on a team, you know, there's 10 of us. So even in just the group chat alone, you know, if I don't know how to do something, I can reach out. I have 10 responses. That's exactly yeah, right. Yeah, the support is me. there. Support. Right. support is there. And I so actually saw that you threw out some info to us. Yes. Oh, right. Yes. With the rent spree, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, so. you're, I'm going to tell you something, and I'm going to say it, and Eric already knows this. Your knowledge in such a short period of time, it blows my mind. Thank you. Your I really appreciate it. Your hard work ethic, your wine life is huge. Your work ethic, your personality is bubbly, fun, exciting, funny, Thank but you. you're also <laughs> very business. You care about your clients so much. Absolutely. And you want the best for them. Yes. And you're very emotionally charged by that, you know, and that's a them. huge thing that comes to making yourself a successful realtor. And I know, and I'm excited, I mean, I know how good you're going to be. Eric knows how good you're going to be. Thank you, guys. We're super excited for you. And we want to make sure you guys know how important it is to hire someone like Jamie to work for you specifically. Make sure to reach out to her. <laughs> yeah, she's accumulated experience early on because she jumped in with both feet. 100%. You know, a lot of folks, they, they start, they dip their toe, right. you know, and then their second toe, and they're like, okay, I want to try this, I want to try that. Right. And you went, no, I'm all in. Okay. <laughs> I'm all Thank in. Thank you. I appreciate and, it, and you that's where And that's where you're going to learn. Trial by fire. Exactly. You know? Absolutely. Like trial by fire. Yeah, oh, yeah. There's a that's lot of learning. There's, there's Mike's tattoo, trial by fire. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a great tattoo. <laughs> Michael Cristoforo, trial by fire. Yeah. You're going to go and get your tattoo, and we're going to pay for it. All right, guys. 
We are at the end of the show. When Dave says we're going to pay for it, he means he's going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. All right. Listen, trial by fire. Speaking of that, we go to the end of our show where we give a free Tumblr to every new person who's willing to join our team on social media. If you're watching and listening, the wheel is spinning. The the wheel is spinning, and the winner is. That's exciting. Real, Real Connecticut photo. Real Connecticut photo. Thank you so much for joining us, being a part of our show, being a part of our team, watching us every week. Guys, thank you so much for joining us every week. We love you. We care about you. Yes, we love you. And we love having you a part of our lives. Please watch. Please share this with friends and family. Please make sure you get Jamie out there. A big, big, big high five and call her. Yes. Because she's amazing. She's going to take great care of you guys. Mark, I'm just Mark. Uh, what's his name over there? <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan's going to make sure you have all her contact information mm-hmm. throughout the show and make sure that you have a chance to reach out to her. Yes. Oh, um, and keep an eye out soon. I don't know when it's going to come, but we have a new website in the works. We have a new website in the works and a whole new bunch of Lots exciting of things to share. Yeah. So, yes. But the website, when that's up, it's going to be really cool. Hot stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us every week again. Catch us Thank on all you. social media, and we'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye. Great job, Jamie. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>